What's going on YouTube? This is Mr. C with a video update. This is an update of my bok choy grow in my aquaponic system. But if you're here to learn how to grow bok choy hydroponically, don't worry, I explain them both throughout this video. Um, if you haven't seen part one, where I show you how they started off, how they looked, um, some issues I was having with nutrients in the system, uh, you, if you'd go and just uh, watch that, it'd give you some background information about this. But one thing I noticed when I was watching that video, I didn't tell y'all where I got the seeds from. I got the seeds from Amazon, and they're bok choy, pak choy seeds sold by seeds and bangs on amazon.com um, they have some interesting stuff they have a uh, dwarf kale which is from my other video where i did dwarf kale that's great for indoor hydroponic systems where you don't have a lot of room but this is the progress this is one week later since my last video and man they have grown a lot and i told you if you do hydroponics right it can grow 200 percent faster than soil all right so just to show y'all real quick before I go through explaining everything, how I did it, here's uh, here's some bok choy that I've already uh, picked out and got the hydrogen media out of the um, out of the roots. But look at that. There's no way. This is more bok choy that I would than I eat in a whole week. So I guess I'm gonna be eating a lot more, right? But as you can see, I got a whole lot more than that. And uh, when I harvest this, I'm gonna just talk about harvesting right now, but I'll go back from uh, the seeds and how I did it. But I would probably harvest this in levels where I do this one or stage it out where I, I do just enough to eat, maybe give it a little bit of waste, try to see if I can trade it for something and then go off and do another row. And so I continuously have food. And as I'm starting my other seeds, which I'm gonna be doing dino kale this time. And um, just so I'm not wasting a lot of food. If I harvested this all at once, it would go bad. Leafy greens, they don't do good freezing. If I was doing peppers or uh, another type of plant that I could freeze and preserve, it'd be great. But these are kind of gross if you freeze them, they get real mushy. Um, I'll probably be posting another video that after you grow your bok choy, I'll show you how to make a really cool Thai style soup with them. All right. But um, if you've been following along in my videos and you've seen my how to grow cilantro video, um, I show a method of germination that is, is kind of low key. It doesn't use um, a heater pad. Um, you don't, and I don't use a, one of those mini greenhouses, even though I have all that. Some seeds, like if you're doing a Carolina Reaper or a ghost pepper or something like that, some seeds like that, they gotta have it or they're not gonna germinate at all. But however, bok choy, leafy greens, lettuce, I mean, they don't require all that to grow. They, they sprout pretty easily. As long as you have fresh and, vi and viable seeds, they're gonna sprout. Okay, so I go ahead and I use that same method from the beginning of my cilantro video where I have a sheet, I sprinkle out the, sheet, the seeds evenly and I w put another sheet on top of it and then I wet it, okay? And then I keep that moistened over the period of two days, okay? That's what I did for the cilantro. I did the same thing here except since I'm using an ebb and flow system, and if you don't know what an ebb and flow is, I'll go ahead and uh, post some information on here or maybe I'll just make a quick little video on it to tell you what ebb flow is but it's just where the reservoir I mean where the um, the container on top that has your medium and your plants in fills floods and drains floods and drains okay but anyways I was kind of wicking where I put a corner of the sheet down into the hydrogen and as the water filled and dropped filled and dropped the the paper towel was wicking or pooling that water across it and it was keeping it watered for me and I had the water pumps on a timer so I really wasn't having to keep up with going over and misting it every day I just made sure that it was moist and just kind of kept a visual eye on it but anyway so I started off with the bok choy seedlings and I had them all in a group okay and then after I had my seedlings and they were you know about yay high about two inches I split them out evenly across my um, my four by four grow pen here. I'm gonna just turn the light off so y'all can see it a little better. Uh, let the camera adjust. Uh, that command that <laughs> those uh, digital, I have a digital um, ballast and also an analog one and the, the frequencies it lets off really mess with that light. But um, anyways, so after I've put it in here, I spread it out and just 
let it grow. This is done aquaponically, so I got, you know, I just have one Oscar in here right now. It's pretty much living off the nutrients from a previous year in the classroom I did it. But a lot of y'all are tuning in, and I got some people that also look at hydroponics and like, hey, man, I want to know some hydroponic stuff. Well, when you're doing this in a hydroponic system, I've done it many times before. It grows super fast, and there's one thing you keep in mind. I keep light on it. I keep it on a vegetative cycle. I keep it um, 22 hours of daylight. Okay, so I have my light on for 22 hours. All right, or you just put it outside. Okay, and for the nutrients, I don't worry about flora at all. And I'm talking, guys, I'm talking here about general hydroponics, the three part nutrients where you have um, grow, micro grow, and flora. Okay, micronutrients grow, which is mainly nitrogen, which grows the green part of the plants, and flora, which does the flowering and fruiting of the plant. I don't worry about flora because I pay a lot of money for nutrients. And if you're out there and you're growing vegetables hydroponically, you know what I mean. You don't need that. You can do just high, just um, grow and micro, okay? The green one and the purple, the dark purplish one. Just those two, I did one fourth milliliter per gallon and remember, you're probably going to end up using tablespoons or something like that, but unless you have a one milliliter dropper like I do laying around, but remember that one tablespoon is 4.97 or 95, pretty much let's say five uh, milliliters. So if you got a five gallon bucket and you're growing um, bok choy, to get to 200 ppm of nutrients is what's required for them to grow. You just put one teaspoon inside, or one teaspoon per five gallons, all right? Or you can go get a one milliliter dropper and just drop one milliliter for each uh, gallon that you're using if you're using a different type of system or something like that, or um, a tub that you're using outside in a crafty method or something like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I got a lot of plants to harvest here. Um, I think I've covered everything. Um, my next video I'm going to be posting is going to be over um, dwarf patio tomatoes. They're called uh, Red Robin. I'm going to show you a lot of miniature varieties of plants that are real easy to do inside. I live in an apartment complex and um, I do a lot of indoor gardening because I can't pull up the bushes in the front of my apartments and do the, my own garden like I want to. So that's what inspired me to get into hydroponics. And it's something that I can do inside. I can do on a windowsill. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And I'm looking for plants that also don't take up a lot of room too. Um, on the flip side of that, after we finish the the uh, red robin tomatoes in here. We're going to be doing the big Zach tomatoes, the really big ones, and I'm going to show you how to make uh, tomatoes that are over one pound. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. Please leave me some feedback. I want to know what y'all are thinking. I want to know what kind of videos y'all want to see. I know a lot about hydroponics. I've been doing it over 10 years. So if I get enough people requesting a certain type of, uh, of plant to do or information, I'll go ahead and post a video. I care a lot about y'all and I really want to know what y'all think. Uh, thank you for watching this video and y'all have a great day. Later guys. Peace out.